Reporting to you live from the hospital district after getting my PCR COVID test done. It's live from last week, episode 71. Let's go! Welcome me, my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, before picking up the wife after her night shift, I'm just at the local Woodbine Beach Skateboarding Park. And yeah, after spending about 10 minutes here, the wife is finally waiting for me downtown. So it's time to go pick her up and I'll just see you guys again in a little bit. So I'm back at home at the condo, but not before this morning, driving around the area of construction of what used to be the Gardner Expressway off ramp and remembering from a previous video that I shot quite a long time ago, just how this area used to look like. But moving on to the present time, where I pretty much stayed in all day, editing the live from last week video that was released last Friday, then driving the wife back to work for her night shift tonight. But before I dropped her off, I politely asked her a quick question. Next Tuesday, sure. may I please take you out on a date? Sure. On a formal date? Tuesday, am I not working? I don't know, hopefully you're not working. <laughs> Tuesday next week? Yeah. Yeah, what time? I don't know, evening. Oh, I'm off here. Yay! All right, date night next Tuesday. Okay, bye. Bye. And for what the wife doesn't know is that over the past couple of weeks, I've been looking forward to this date and have planned something special for me and the wife to do on Tuesday. I'll be taking her to something that the wife has always wanted to go to, but hasn't yet had the opportunity to do until, of course, Tuesday. But unfortunately for you guys, you'll have to tune in to next week's episode to figure out what surprise I have in store for the wife. But yeah, while we're on the topic of surprises, I got a notification that my university that I went to, Ryerson University, had recently set up on Twitter a notification as well as outlining on the website that they have officially changed their name to Toronto Metropolitan University. And although I'm all for changing the name of the university, I'm just hoping that the new Toronto Metropolitan University will send a new updated diploma with its new name to me and the colleagues that I have graduated with. And yeah, I still have one more surprise to share with you guys from earlier today. I recently got an email in my inbox from Best Buy letting me know that my beloved air fryer was potentially being dangerous and a risk of fires for households all over the country. So I went to check out my air fryer in the kitchen, looked for the serial number on the bottom, and saw that the number on my air fryer matched a number that was on the list of the recalled air fryers. So unfortunately, I won't be able to use my air fryer no more. I'll have to send it back in to the distributor and hopefully get a refund for my air fryer. But don't you worry guys, I'll keep you updated and posted on all the processes and the things I have to look out for when I send back my air fryer. Anyways y'all, it's almost midnight and before I go to sleep, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my beach volleyball friends who I hope will get healthy soon and who I will play next summer in beach volleyball again. This birthday greeting goes out to you Wayne. Happy birthday Wayne. The next birthday greeting goes out to one of my YSIC friends who I used to help out with with nursing advice back when she was at school. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to one of my friends back at the Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy who is also a very big Blue Jays fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Oriana. Happy birthday, Oriana. I'm hoping that all you guys that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after doing another early morning pickup of the wife after her night shift downtown, only sleeping for this much this morning, I set an own personal record of driving all the way to church and Dundas, which usually would take about 31 minutes from the condo, and arrive there in downtown in 21 minutes without hitting one single red traffic light. 
But anyways, if you guys recall, last week I was playing my cousin and a couple of other titas in some mahjong. Relearning how to play this game for the first time in over a decade. So, while I was exercising on the stationary bike this afternoon, I don't know if you guys can see it in the palm of my hands, but while I was working out, I was actually checking out some other YouTube videos on how to play this game of Mahjong. Which, if you guys are interested, I'll definitely put the link in the description below of these different videos that I was watching earlier today. And plus, this is a quick shout out to some of my other cousins to go check out some of these links so that in the future, at some of our fam jams, we'll be able to play a game or two of some Mahjong. But moving on, I got my first of my three night shifts tonight with a set of four in the next five nights. But before I leave for work, I have a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this one goes out to a friend of mine who I went to Buffalo with to check out a Bills game with a couple of friends. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alta. Happy birthday, Alta. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, this morning I got word that the wife wasn't feeling too well. So after my night shift, since she was feeling under the weather, I decided to go to my local no frills, do a little bit of grocery shopping, buying her several cans of soup, and lay them all out on the counter so later on I can cook her some soup and hopefully help her feel a little bit better. But another thing is that after I took my post night shift nap this afternoon, for some reason my back was feeling sore and although I didn't have a cough, shortness of breath or a runny nose, I decided to take my home testing kit out and make sure that I was negative for the COVID-19 virus. So after opening up the packaging, which to be honest, looked a little bit intimidating with all these instructions and instruments, I looked at the instructions card, took the plunge and started my test. First, I took the collection tube and put it into the collection holder, then dripped about 10 drops of the solution into the tube. Next, took the very scary swab out of its packaging, then gently inserted it into one of my nostrils, uncomfortably twisted it to the back of my brain, holding it in place to get a good sample, then doing the exact same thing on the other side. And of course, this is just an example of how my body rejected the procedure that I was doing. Anyways, continuing on, we put the sample swab in the collection tube, swirled it about 10 to 15 times, then squeezed the tube with the swab inside to make sure we got an accurate sample. Then, after two minutes of letting it simmer in the tube, we finally took the swab out, put a cap on the sample tube, then got the testing appliance to drop about three drops in it, then asked Google to set a timer for about 15 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. And once that timer was finished, it was finally time to look at and reveal my results. And luckily for me, this result came out negative which is a good thing because it means I don't have COVID, but also a bad thing because it means I have to go into work tonight. But before I make my evening commute, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my Wysik friends who was a foreign exchange student while she was living here in Toronto. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jess. Happy birthday, Jess. The next birthday shout out goes out to one of my BVG coworkers who is a big fan of the Penguins and would always wear his Sidney Crosby jersey at work. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Richie. Happy birthday, Richie. Next on deck is a birthday shout out to one of my university friends, who I actually ran into in a race at the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Caroline. Happy birthday, Caroline. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to the legendary Pancit Molo chef who is also a competitive Mahjong player in his free time. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tito Rene. Happy birthday, Tito Rene. I'm hoping that everybody out there that's celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great birthday this year. So right now, it's Friday night. And if you're wondering why I'm not at work at this time, it's because I have a quick little story to tell you guys about. And it's gonna get a little bit personal right now, so basically, last night slash this morning, 
I had a quick notification from one of my close contacts that I might have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus. So after my shift this morning, I talked with my employer and they told me that I shouldn't come to work tonight. And also, they let me know that I had to get yet another PCR test. And so yesterday, after testing negative with my rapid antigen test and being asymptomatic for any symptoms of the COVID-19 virus, I went to the hospital, got ready for my PCR test and telling by this video, I was nervous but went ahead with it and got my PCR test done. And so earlier today, while waiting for my results to come in, we got some nice royal kanji food that was delivered, the deep fried tofu, some kanji, as well as me enjoying my favorite brisket noodle soup. And then in the evening, when I checked online to see how my results was, drum roll please, brrrr, my results tested negative. And so this evening, I decided to take the mini out, driving around getting some fresh air with my sunroof open, and forgetting my old pastime of listening to the Blue Jays game on the radio. But the good news is, the Blue Jays have one of the best athletes when it comes to... Which, funny enough, I was doing while driving past the Rogers Center this evening. But anyways, after getting some fresh air and driving around today, I'm gonna head back home to rest and isolate myself for a bit, and monitoring to see if I have any COVID symptoms that might come up anytime soon. But before we call it a night on my first day off calling in sick for over two or three years, and only the second time calling in sick over the last 12 years that I've been working, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my cousins in the Philippines, Didai. Happy birthday, Didai. I'm hoping that you and my family in the Philippines are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Earlier today, while doing a nice morning stationary bike session, I had a quick video call with my family, which also involved my sister, who's actually traveling in Portugal for a beach volleyball camp at this time, and showing me the view that she has right by the beach at the apartment where she's staying at. And after, when we wrapped up that video call, I made my way to a local pharmacy to pick up a free rapid antigen testing kit in case I develop some COVID symptoms, which luckily for the time being, I am still asymptomatic. And while I was out, I decided to do the stereotypical pandemic thing. And yes, you guessed it, pick up a big batch slash bulk order of some toilet paper. But let me tell you guys, there was something that irked me a little bit today. Kudo, my phone service provider, informed me that I had used 100% of my data for the month. But the thing is, they claim that they have this thing called shock-free data, where they notify you when you hit 50, 90, and 100% of your data limit for the month. But considering I got absolutely no warnings before I hit that 100% mark this month, I was pretty upset when I found out that I could no longer use any of my data for my day-to-day -day tasks. So I'm hoping that Kudo in the near future will get their act together and give me some warning throughout the month so that I can pace myself through my data usage for the month. Anyways, to get my mind off things and to enjoy the weather slash fresh air today, I decided to take my motorcycle out for the first time since this live from last week episode more than a month back. I also had to drive the wife to a health appointment meeting downtown this evening while of course wearing my personal protective equipment so that she doesn't catch what I might have and why I'm self-isolating and vice versa. But yeah, during our commute, this was her point of view of her Uber driver doing his best impression of Lewis Hamilton while in the car. And on our way back, the mini complained that she was feeling a little bit hungry. So we pulled over and I gave her something to fill up on. And just like last time, when I couldn't get the total cost to end up right on the dollar mark, I wasn't able to stop on time, and I did it yet again. Anyways, y'all, before the stroke of midnight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. The first birthday shout-out goes out to a Wysik friend of mine who I used to party with in the unit back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. Next, we have a birthday greeting to a beach volleyball friend that I've played with at Woodbind in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. And last but not least, we have a birthday shout out to a family friend of mine 
who helped support and run alongside me while I was dressed up in a minion costume for the Scotiabank Half Marathon. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Gio. Happy birthday, Gio. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, it's time to wrap up this last segment from the month of April. Because tomorrow, in the words of the great fortune teller, Justin Timberlake, It's gonna, gonna, it's gonna be me. Good morning, y'all. On this nice breezy day in Scarborough, I'm just in the middle of doing a nice light 5K Sunday morning run for the first time in what seems like forever. I'm feeling pretty out of shape. And after about nine minutes, I'm already pretty tired. So let's keep on continuing on and seeing just how out of shape I still am. Oh man, I'm running in the neighborhood and it smells like somebody's making some delicious chicken adobo. Oh, I can sure go for some chicken adobo right now. So after looking down at my watch, after I completed my five and a quarter kilometer run, it said that I finished it in just under 37 minutes. With me reaching a maximum heart rate for over half an hour. But once I was settled, I realized that tomorrow, May 2nd, is the deadline to file my taxes. So I resumed where I left off, if you guys can remember from a couple weeks back. I put my green tax filing shirt on, went to the h and Block website and finally finished filing my 2021 tax return. And in a similar celebration as last year, Woo! Just finished doing my taxes, confetti everywhere. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo. This year when I completed my taxes, I had this screen pop up where I kept wanting to click on and say to myself, I need more confetti. Woohoo! Yippee! I then continued my productive day by disinfecting and cleaning the Mini with the Lysol spray that I had, making sure that the car was clean and bacteria-free from yesterday's commute. Afterwards, I took the Mini for a little bit of a spin in the rain before picking up some Jamaican beef patties for the wife that she was really craving earlier today. But yeah, I also wanted to remind y'all that finally, since it's the start of May, my Blue Jays leadoff pass that I was telling you guys about last month, well, I'm finally able to redeem my Blue Jays tickets with it. But unfortunately, for the time being, since I have to stay away from large crowds and monitor myself for COVID symptoms, I am unable to use my Blue Jays tickets for this week. But luckily, I have some friends that are able to take the tickets off my hands and enjoy the games at the Dome for me. Which is a good sign for any of you jaywalkers out there that want to catch a game with me or even have a chance to get a free pair of tickets to the Blue Jays game for any games that I can't personally attend. So if any of you guys out there are interested in taking me up on this offer, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and depending on availability and while supplies last, I will see what I can do. But anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my family friends out there who, when we were younger, would teach me some breakdancing moves in the basement of their house in Michigan, as well as who I visited in LA a couple years back doing insanity workouts in their living room. This birthday greeting goes out to you, JJ. Happy birthday, JJ. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. This morning, I'm in downtown Toronto at the hospital district to see if I could do my five-day post-possible COVID exposure PCR test. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Thank you. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. Oh man, guys, by far, that one was the worst one I've had yet. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that the person that did my test took a biopsy of my brain as well. But before I drove back to recover from my biopsy this morning, I remember seeing something on Facebook Marketplace that I could possibly pick up and buy on my way home. And when I got to the house, just as I communicated with the seller on Facebook Messenger, I found the marvelous item inside the bag. And ta-da! 
It was a new hat for the special May the 4th Star Wars Day celebration that is coming up in a couple of days. I then left a handful of loonies in the bag for the seller and I was on my way. But not before I took my handy dandy antibacterial Lysol spray out and spray cleaned my newly found $4 Facebook Marketplace too. And while I was riding home, I was actually reminiscing about the first time I was riding this motorcycle. So, in honor of that, we're just going to do a quick little throwback to a motorcycle music video that I made back in 2020 when the pandemic just started. Man, those were some good times in the past. And speaking of past memories, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, we have a birthday shout out to a friend of mine back in elementary school who stood out with his athletic ability, especially in the game of hockey. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tyler. Happy birthday, Fergie. The next birthday greeting I have is for a classmate back at Mother Teresa with who I used to play baseball and foot hockey with on the schoolyards of MT. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. And last but not least, we have a birthday greeting to somebody who I randomly traveled with back a couple years ago in Iceland when we had a flight delay of over 24 hours. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nat. Happy birthday, Natalie. I'm hoping that all you guys that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But hold up, before we wrap it up for this week, this just in, I realized that my test results for my PCR test this morning are now out. With the results saying, that this guy is not positive for COVID. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But in all seriousness, thank goodness for this result. The only bad news is, is that every day for the next 10 days, work has asked me to do a rapid antigen COVID test just to make sure that I don't bring any surprises back to work. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Drew Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.